The Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority is a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services office responsible for procurement and development of countermeasures principally against bioterrorism, but also including chemical, nuclear and radiological threats as well as pandemic influenza and emerging diseases. BARDA reports to the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response and manages Project BioShield. BARDA also procures materials, such as vaccines, for the strategic national stockpile, and more broadly as an established interface between the U.S. government and the biomedical industry. BARDA also manages the governmental inter agency Public Health Emergency Medical Countermeasures Enterprise, providing coordination across the government in development and deployment of such countermeasures. The Project BioShield Act of 2004 created a way to fund the research, development, and stockpiling of vaccines and treatments that the government could use during public health emergencies such as a chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear attacks. The agency gives funds to pharmaceutical companies to develop these countermeasures. Between 2007 and 2017, BARDA procured and stockpiled 21 products to be used in potential public health emergencies. The office was established in 2006 through the Pandemic and All Hazards Preparedness Act. Topic. Requirements setting BARDA sets for requirements for medical countermeasures in order to reduce the threats of public health emergencies such as pandemic influenza, CBRN threats, and emerging diseases. The requirements tell private industry what is required in order to produce medical countermeasures acceptable for BARDA. Stakeholders across the federal government and the Public Health Emergency Medical Countermeasures Enterprise PHEMCE, create the requirements. After the requirements are established, they drive BARDA advanced research and development and acquisition. The requirements are created consistent with the planning and prioritization expressed in the HHS PHEMCE Implementation Plan for CBRN Threats. Pandemic influenza requirements are defined by strategic objectives established in the National Strategy for Pandemic Influenza and the HHS Pandemic Influenza Plan. Topic. Major initiatives Research and development Medical countermeasures Vaccines Antimicrobial drugs Therapeutic products Diagnostics Non-pharmaceutical medical supplies Stockpiling programs see below. Project BioShield Pandemic Influenza Emergency Supplemental Fund Strategic National Stockpile Antibiotics Vaccines Anthrax vaccine Antidotes Medical equipment and supplies Manufacturing infrastructure Topic. Advanced research and development From its inception, BARDA has been committed to creating a robust and dynamic pipeline of medical countermeasures through advanced development of new and improved medical countermeasures. The goal of medical countermeasure development is to provide multiple product candidates in each program to both account for attrition in medical countermeasure development and to establish multi-product, multi-manufacturer portfolios for sustainability and redundancy. 
Sparta medical countermeasures include vaccines, antimicrobial drugs, therapeutic products, diagnostics and non-pharmaceutical medical supplies and devices for public health medical emergencies including chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats, pandemic influenza and emerging infectious diseases. BARDA currently has three programs dedicated to overseeing the advanced development of these medical countermeasures, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, pandemic influenza, and emerging infectious diseases. BARDA's Influenza and Emerging Diseases Division is in the planning phase for its Emerging Infectious Disease Program. This program will, when stood up, support the advanced development of vaccine, therapeutic and diagnostic medical countermeasures that address emerging disease threats. Nerve agents and other chemical weapons are a top priority for fighting CBRN threats. VX gas, which was the nerve agent that reportedly killed the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, is an example. BARDA is preparing to stockpile an anti-seizure medication called midazolam, developed by Meridian Medical Technologies a subsidiary of Pfizer, which will be made available in an auto-injector that could treat the effects of nerve agents on the neurological system. In October 2017 BARDA entered a nine-month $12 million contract with the San Francisco-based biopharmaceutical company Acheogen, sponsoring late-stage development of Seascape, an antibiotic used against resistant bacteria and a potential treatment against bioterrorism chemical agents. Integrated National Biodefense Medical Countermeasures Portfolio Integrated National Biodefense Medical Countermeasure Portfolio One Portfolio Approach. The Department of Defense DoD, and HHS each identify medical countermeasure requirements to address their different missions and focus. DOD's focus is on protecting the armed forces prior to exposure, whereas HHS's focus is on response to threats to the civilian population after exposure in a CBRN event. However, there are areas of common requirements or interest where medical countermeasure candidates, resources and information can be appropriately shared to maximize opportunities for success in the development of medical countermeasures for the highest priority threats. BARDA, in partnership with other HHS and DoD partners, is leading an integrated national biodefense medical countermeasure portfolio to leverage resources and programs across the agencies that develop and acquire CBRN medical countermeasures to more effectively address the broad range of common threats and requirements. Members of this integrated portfolio include BARDA, biodefense programs in NIAID and other institutes of NIH, and multiple elements of the DoD Chemical and Biological Defense Program. <laughs> Stockpiling programs The Pandemic and All Hazards Preparedness Act PAHPA, established BARDA as the focal point within HHS for the advanced development and acquisition of medical countermeasures to protect the American civilian population against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, and naturally occurring threats to public health. BARDA's stockpiling efforts are focused on building reserves of critical countermeasures as they emerge from advanced development. Stockpiling contributes to preparedness in two ways. Stockpiled medical countermeasures directly support readiness, as the stockpiled products can help to mitigate the effects of an event or outbreak. 
establishment of the stockpile helps to ready suppliers to meet the increased demands that an event will bring about, becoming practiced in the production and delivery of products. BARDA's acquisitions for the stockpile are not one time events, complete upon the approval, licensure of a product. Rather, programs are structured to include incremental milestone acquisitions during late-stage development, to make available products still in development that may increase preparedness in an event, pending emergency use authorization. Furthermore, we aim to establish stockpiling milestones to address long-term commitments post-licensure. CBRN stockpiling programs In FY 2004, Congress appropriated $5.6 billion to the Project BioShield Special Reserve Fund to support the Project BioShield goal of acquiring CBRN medical countermeasures over a 10-year period. BARDA has used these funds to support major acquisition programs leading to procurement of medical countermeasures against top priority threats. <laughs> Pandemic influenza stockpiling programs Using funds from the Pandemic Influenza Emergency Supplemental Fund, BARDA is leading the nation toward the vaccine and antiviral stockpile goals for preparedness for pandemic influenza. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic National Stockpile The Public Health Security and Bioterrorism Preparedness Act of 2002 directed the Secretary of Health and Human Services to develop and maintain a Strategic National Stockpile The mission of the SNS is to provide for the emergency health security of the United States in the event of a terrorist attack or any other public health emergency. The SNS is the nation's largest supply of potentially life-saving pharmaceuticals and medical supplies for use in a small outbreak to a large-scale, multiple threat emergency. When state, local, tribal, and or territorial responders request federal assistance to support their response efforts, the stockpile is supposed to ensure that supplies are available when and where needed. The stockpile contains enough vaccines, antimicrobial drugs, therapeutic products, and non-pharmaceutical medical supplies to save thousands of lives in the wake of any type of public health emergency including terrorist attacks whether chemical, biological, radiological, and or nuclear, as well as pandemic influenza and emerging infectious diseases. Emergent Biosolutions is a Maryland-based pharmaceutical company that manufactures manufactures vaccines and related products for use against common diseases and biological weapons. Emergent manufactures the only FDA-licensed vaccine against anthrax disease, called Biothrax, which is recommended by the CDC as a post-exposure prophylactic for anthrax infection. As part of a $450 million contract with BARDA for the SNS, Emergent also developed the only FDA-licensed botulinum antitoxin, BAT botulism antitoxin heptavalent for treating naturally occurring botulism. V. Canada has also approved BAT. The federal government improved its plan against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats after the 2001 anthrax letters attack, which killed five Americans. It was the worst biological attack in United States history. The agency also invested in the late stage development of a product called Nuthrax, developed by Emergent Biosolutions, which makes the other anthrax vaccine, Biothrax. According to Homeland Preparedness News, Nuthrax will be able to provide immunity to anthrax after two doses, versus the three doses under the currently stockpiled vaccine, Biothrax. Medical countermeasure products 
Table source Topic: Manufacturing and infrastructure building Ensuring the availability of medical countermeasures for public health emergencies is central to BARDA's mission. This includes ensuring that manufacturing infrastructure is sufficient to support the production of required products, in a manner that is timely, reliable and cost-effective. BARDA is taking several approaches to bringing online the necessary infrastructure for medical countermeasure manufacturing. We are supporting the construction of new facilities as well as retrofitting existing facilities for maximal capacity and flexibility. We are also exploring the use of multi-product manufacturing facilities to provide flexibility and surge capacity so that we are able to rapidly provide countermeasures in the dosage forms required for use in the field we are establishing a network of formulation fill finish manufacturers for emergency production and distribution barda is also exploring the creation of centers of excellence for the development and production of non-commercial products with assistance from industry partners Topic advancing innovation The Pandemic and All Hazards Preparedness Act PAHPA charges BARDA to support innovation to reduce the time and cost of medical countermeasures and product advanced research and development. This is to be accomplished through development of technologies that assist the advanced development of countermeasures, investment in research tools and technologies, and research to promote strategic initiatives including rapid diagnostics, broad-spectrum antimicrobials, and vaccine manufacturing technologies. BARDA sees this innovation mandate as an opportunity to work with their partners including NIH, DOD, CDC, industry, and academia to create new ways to make medical countermeasure better. Examples of this approach to innovation could include the development of animal models to support efficacy testing, immune modulation and other broad spectrum approaches, immunity assessment, and analytical potency assays. An example of innovation from the Pandemic Influenza Program is BARDA's Mix and Match Study, assessing various combinations of antigens and adjuvants to obtain a more robust immune response. BARDA plans to support similar initiatives, leveraging technology platforms and products from multiple companies. PAHPA provided an important antitrust authority that is used to facilitate cooperation among companies for whom such cooperation would otherwise be difficult to accomplish. Fujifilm Corporation announced in April 2017 that it would invest $130 million to increase production capacity for its Biocedmo division. The division focuses on contract development and manufacturing for biologics. Fujifilm Diosynth Biotechnologies, with help from a BARDA grant, has invested around $93 million to build a production facility in Texas. The facility will include mammalian cell culture bioreactors and is planned to open operations at the start of 2018. In April 2017, Switzerland based Basilea Pharmaceutica and the Food and Drug Administration reached an agreement regarding two phase three clinical studies of an antibiotic developed by Basilea called Ceftobiprol. The two clinical studies will examine ceftobiprol for the treatment of Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia bloodstream infections and acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections. Basilea has a contract with BARDA, which it entered into in 2016 for the clinical phase 3 development of the antibiotic. BARDA provided initial funding of $20 million but could provide up to $100 million over a period of four to five years. In 2017, BARDA signed a three year $8.1 million contract with InBios International, Inc. of Seattle, Washington to develop a point of care diagnostic test that may be able to determine within 15 minutes whether a patient has been infected with the bacterium that causes anthrax. 
In September 2017, BARDA awarded Velico Medical $15.5 million for development of a technology that uses spray drying of human plasma for transfusions. The current industry standard is to freeze plasma. Frozen plasma can take 40 or more minutes to defrost and deliver. According to Fierce Biotech, Velico has spray-dried plasma technology SPDPTM that enables the storage of blood as dry powder, rather than the typical freezing, for subsequent rehydration. It's expected to be useful in hospital emergency rooms, operating suites and intensive care units as well as in a military or field hospital setting. In July 2005, at the hearings before the Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions, the first CEO and director of the center, Tara O'Toole, MD, MPH, has pointed to center's role as the BioDARPA, i.e., biomedical DARPA. See also Pandemic and All Hazards Preparedness Reauthorization Act of 2013 HR 307 113th Congress 1 law regarding BARDA 